All right, guys, welcome to another uh, Universal Monster uh, fan fiction poll winner. Like I said, all through spooky season, and yes, September is a sp part of the spooky season. Um, I've been do I'm going to be doing like uh, fan fiction ideas centered around each of the Universal Monsters. So far, we've had one on the Mummy, we've had another on uh, the Wolfman, and we've recently had one on Doctor Jekyll and Mister Hyde. So. Yeah, this is our next winner, but as always, if you guys like to be part of polls that affect the videos here on YouTube as well as the, over there on Patreon, just hit the link below and uh, to head on over to my Patreon, you guys can hit the first tier, and I'll give you access to the polls as well as movie reviews whenever I uh, get able to be able to do them. Anyway, so let's get started with the video. So this video is the winner um, of this one, and finally we get the big gun of the Universal Monster Universe, and that is Dracula, and it's a Dracula Spy X family crossover. So let's get started with it, with the story. So the story begins with um, Lloyd getting a call from Frankie, um, like late at night, and he's like, hey man, this is an emergency, you gotta meet me now, like in an undisclosed location. So he basically goes, and... Uh, he basically, t like, he goes to meet Lloyd, and Lloyd is, like, freaked out. Like, something went, something has gone wrong, like, and he tell like, Frankie tells him straight up, like, dude, something's fucked. Like, something is, uh, like, Twi Agent Twilight, something is fucked. Something has gone horribly wrong in, wi in Wise and all throughout Estonia. More or less, what he, uh, Frankie doesn't know the exacts, but what has happened is that, um... At least a few weeks ago, by the by his count, like maybe if, like about three, four weeks ago, um, the National Unity Party had been having excavations to had been more or less funding excavations into the border uh, to the bordering um, to the borders of the country, like out in the wilds of Estonia. And more or less, this was like to promote like their their heritage, like their their pure heritage, and you know give the give the party more like historical value. Among those was apparently uh, one of their inside sources says they found a what they can only be described as an ancient bioweapon, and they brought it back to that castle. I mean, to from the castle that they found it from, and now they have. Um, they they took it to one uh, to like some um, black site, and now something has gone horribly wrong because now something has been infecting wise agents, not just in Ostania but across the world. Like their uh, their spy network is being um, compromised across the board, and Frankie just tells them like, I don't know who to trust. I don't know who's out there. I don't know who isn't it, it, who is infected by this and who isn't. And Lloyd is like, F infected? Infected with what? What kind of bioweapon are we talking about? And Lloyd's just like smoking cigarette, like smoking one cigar after another. Dude, you wouldn't believe me if I told you. Like, this is, this is, you gotta take your family, you know, take your kid, take your kid, take your wife, and, and go. Just get out of Astania until Wise can, like, until we can find out who we can and can't trust. I'm only telling you this because I know you can, I can trust you. Um, and he's like, we, uh, you know, why uh, like wise has gone in lockdown mode because of this uh, of this infection and he's like what infection is it and he's like would you believe vampirism and lloyd is like vampirism like that makes no sense like i don't understand um um and he's like yeah i wouldn't either but now we have several agents like um we have several agents who just suddenly freaked out and like bit people we don't know what's going on. Like, we're trying to control the situation. Even, like, Donovan Desmond, the head of the National Unity Party, has got, uh, like, he's even more of a recluse now. We don't even know what kind of bioweapon it was, but yeah. So Frankie, like, basically spills that, like, he tells Lloyd, like, look, we've always kind of suspected that there have been, like, we've heard rumors of vampirism throughout history and he's like and he's and lloyd is like i don't believe that such things and he's like you're gonna have to because wise captain didn't believe it either until 1940 until not the 1940s the 1930s during the beginning of world war ii when the nazis occupied estonia and what they brought with them was something they found in romania they basically found something they took from Romania and planned to use it as a bioweapon to test out in Astania 
but by, uh, but however the plan never really got off the ground because at the time um uh, a joint mission between w a fledgling Wise and MI6 stopped it. Stopped the bio weapon. Um, a uh, yeah. So there. Uh, so that project was left behind. But what it was known was that it was supposed to give off like, um, like infect the population with vampirism and make a new Nazi army, a new like undead soldiers for the Reich. And that's pretty bad. And uh, Lloyd is like how come we never brought this up? He's like, because it's supposed to be top secret and no one would believe us. And, you know, like, like it was meant to be black, um, blacklisted. But now that bioweapon is back. And he's like, do we even know what the bioweapon is? It's like, no one knew. Like, no one knew what the, wh who the carrier for the bioweapon was. But if you ask me, it's, it's probably like our vampire. You know, uh, like, they found something in Romania that they shouldn't have. They fucked around with it. And now... Are the National Unity Parties let it out again? Um, so yeah, Lloyd has to go back home. He goes back home, and already like he's like, I don't know like what Frank he's on about, and, and, and like maybe it is a bio weapon or something. And that's when he meets Sylvie, and Sylvie's like, Ah, oh, I so you know, hi, uh, you know, hello, uh, you know, Agent Twilight, and he's like, Hi, what's going on here? He's like, Oh, we were wondering, it, like, Wise is kind of going through some changes and we were wondering if you were in on it and they were like and he's like he just whips out his gun and that's when sylvie just goes full vampire along with several of the wise agents and now lloyd has to like fight his way through them um and they're like the you know the master uh, you know the our master will our new master will you know sees the potential in you twilight uh, agent twilight and he will bring you in now, while this has been going on, Yor has also gotten a message from her assassin group, and they've basically said, like, yeah, we've, we're have under new management, and that's revealed, like, they've all, like, half, more than half of the assassin part of group has been, um, Yor has found out that her entire, uh, like, assassination group, nearly all of it has been converted into vampires, and Yor tries to fight several of them, killing them with her, uh, with her weapons, but that's when this large figure this tall figure wearing a cape uh stands over her and he's like my my beautiful bride and bites her now anya <laughs> anya was left at home all by herself but she kind of knew that something was up and that's when lloyd comes back all beaten and and bloodied and he's just like anya you're let's go we're we're leaving um he barely got away but Anya's there, but Yor is and that's when Yor walks in, and she's like, hello, my loving husband, you know, I've, mi you know, I've missed you, and he's missed you, too, and he's like, Yor, and Yor's been, been turned into a vampire, um, so Lloyd grabs Anya, has to fight Yor, and he's like, I don't, like, he, he doesn't realize it's the assassin thing, he just thinks, like, like, my wife's been turned into a vampire, and he must have, and she must have, like, She's been given superhuman strength and whatnot, so that's how, like, but I didn't think she'd fight this good. So, what happens is that Lloyd and Anya get saved by Frankie, and he's just like, dude, I told you something weird is going on here. Um, and he's like, I pulled more files. That bioweapon? Yeah, it was a person, but you ain't gonna believe who, who that person was. And sure enough, it is Count fucking Dracula. So... In this, um, Dracula did die. He he was killed in Romania by uh, by um, Van, uh, by um, Van Helsing, Harker, and the others. But during the Rom uh, during the Nazi occupation of Romania, during the uh, like when the Nazis came into Romania, they found Dracula's body. But they didn't want to test it on pure Germans. They didn't want to test like making vampires out of Germans. But then they saw Astania and were like, we can make vampires out of Astanians that we can and we can also purge the um Jewish community in there while we're at it. But MI6 and, and what was believed to be MI6, we'll get to that in a bit. Um in Wise stopped that organization stopped that plot and tried to bury Dracula cuz they even thought like if he gets resurrected, no one can control him. The Nazis thought that, like, they could make a weapon out of Dracula and his uh, his vampirism. No one should have that power because no one can control that power. No one can control him. 
So, but the National Unity Party and Donovan Desmond and those fuckhead chuckle fucks decided, hey, we can bring Dracula into our party, and that he'll use his vampirism to mind control everyone to join our party, and we'll take over Estania. Brilliant idea, except Dracula did what Dracula always does, his own thing. Um, so now Lloyd and Anya are on the run with Frankie as they're trying to avoid just hordes and hordes of, of vampires as more of Estania, like, because Dracula this time is playing it smart, like, because he's like, I'm going to infect all the other threats to me, um, and make them into my le into my personal legion, um, and turn them into vampires. And the National Unity Party, like all of it, already gets infected as is. So Lloyd has to figure out where Dracula is, and because Frankie says like, there's a way we can save them, like, and he, and because Lloyd thinks I'm gonna have to like push my son into sunlight or put a stake through her heart. He's like, he cares about the mission, but now he's like, yours in danger, and I don't know how to deal with that. But Frankie believes if we kill Dracula, then his hold over all of our people, as well as, you know, the people he's infecting, will cease. So we have to find Dra so we have to find Count Dracula and where and where he could be. And and that's when Lloyd's there driving. He's like, could he be right there? And Dracula's right there, like he formed out of this out of the smoke, and he's just kinda like standing there, like menace just standing there menacingly. And, for, and the car cra almost crashes into him. The car uh, like he turns into a swarm of bats, forms back as the car drove through him, and Lloyd proceeds to try to fight Dracula you know but he's still a man even with all of his ability you know all of his special skills all of his spy skills he's never encountered something like Dracula and he just gets his ass handed to him um he then sees Anya and he, and like Anya's like trying to read his mind and all she sees like she immediately regrets it like going into his head because all she sees um all she really sees is just the nightmares he's he's caused as Vlad Tepish and as uh, as the monster Dracula. So she immediately like is is in pain and just like screaming and crying cuz she just saw all that at once. She just saw Vlad the Impaler all at once and that's that just freaked the fuck out of her. And Dracula like felt that and he's like you're a special child. I will have you. And that's when like um uh Lloyd comes in with like two sticks holding a cross and he's like <laughs> and Dracula like looks at him for a second and he goes please and just bitch slaps him out of the way and he's like the whole point of the cross or any religious object is that you have to have belief in them to hurt it's not the cross that hurt uh, that wounds a vampire you idiot it's the belief behind it and you sir have no belief so he takes Anya and like and leaves Frankie was still in the car after the accident he's like hurt but Lloyd now is just like, I am going to get my family back, and I am going to drive a fucking stake through that monster's heart. Um, so yeah, Dracula has... It, so they actually do some more digging and discover that Dracula has been has been hiding in a in the castle he was found by the National Unity Party. And remember, even Donovan Desmond and all of them are like, you know what the fuck, man? Your turn. You were you were supposed to take out our enemies and put us in power. You weren't supposed to infect our own people along with the people we told you to infect. He's like, you told me. You presume to give me the principle of Wallachia orders. I am sorry, gentlemen, but there has been a miscommunication. So as he's talking, like Donovan Desmond's like yes men around him just get like sucked in and, and like eaten by vampires, and Desmond's just like immediately folds like please don't kill me, I'm you know I'm just you know I brought you back from the dead and he's like, I thank you. But I would eat you, but your blood for one your blood probably tastes of weakness, and two, I if I am to take over this nation and to reclaim all of Europe as I intended it to before Van Helsing took it. I will need people in the daytime. So he keeps Donovan alive. He's like, I will give you the power you seek, but it will only be through my will. So Donovan does like, thank you, my thank you, uh, master, thank you, my lord. <laughs> and he's like, get the fuck out. And Dragon's like, get the fuck out of here. 
by that point, uh, Lloyd has shown back up, and Frankie's just like, you want me to go in with you? And he's like, he's like locked in, he's got holy water, crossbows, stakes, um, no crosses, because he's like, yeah, it's not gonna work. I don't have any belief in God, and God, you know, God doesn't want to see what I'm gonna do to that monster anyway. <laughs> um, and even like, uh, experimental bombs that have like UV ray in them. So Lloyd proceeds to uh, just fight his way into the building. He's even like fighting his way through the building. Meanwhile, Anya's locked up. Now Dracula wanted to bite her, but he's like, I don't know what that what this child's power is, and I don't know what her blood will do to me if I try to drink it. So I'm gonna play it smart for a little bit. So meanwhile, yours down there is like my darling daughter. You know, we can be a family again once your your father's being obtuse about the whole subject but we can convince him we can convince him to be a family forever don't you want that um and anya's like you're not my mommy and just your goes full animal monster just tries to attack her um anya slips away she, so it's a run from your until like lloyd comes in and lloyd actually like lloyd comes in just guns blasting putting like stakes and not and just decapitating heads putting stakes through vampires until eventually he finds your saves anya and actually uses um a ring like he traps your in a ring of uh of uh garlic he traps her in a ring of garlic and keeps her there while he's goes to deal with dracula and when he goes to fight dracula it goes full castlevania and he's like um uh, he's like, what is uh, like, what is this this pitiful pile of lies? And Lloyd's like, I'm the monster who's going to kill you. Uh, and he's like, I'm the man who's going to kill you. And Dracula's like, we will see. So the two fight, and this time Lloyd's better. Pre he has prep time now. He does the whole Batman has prep time thing. And actually, like, as they're fighting, he's still getting his ass beat. But as he is. Dracula, he's like, what did you think to accomplish here, human? I wanted you, I could have made you eternal, but now your wife will be my bride, and your child will be my child. What did you hope to gain from this? And, and Lloyd goes, a distraction. And he goes, distraction? And he's like, from this, and he rips the thing down, he rips, like, the blinds down, and the sun comes flying in, in, into it, and he's, like, burning, Dracula's burning and screaming. Lloyd runs in, um, tackles him through a window as they're burning and just starts staking him through the chat through the heart um, and kills Dracula thereby breaking his hold over the other vampire and uh, the other vampires and turns them back into human and Yor is just like back to human and she's like Lloyd what happened he's like nothing let's go home and be a family and yeah me so yeah Desmond does get away and he's like hmm, just as I planned you know. I, I knew that, like, someone would come along and kill the vampire. This was all part of my plan, so now they'll rally to me, right? Anyway. But yeah, Lloyd is like, tells Frankie, he's like, did you get everyone? He's like, yeah, I got everyone. But don't call me for missions for the rest of the weekend. I'm going to spend some time with my wife and kid. Anyway, so there you go, guys. That is pretty much the Spy X Family Dracula crossover. You guys tell me in the comments below, what did you guys think of it? Comment below, let me know. Other than that, hope you all enjoyed this. And once again, thank you to the Patreon polls for voting. Other than that, hope you all enjoyed this. I'm Mr. Multiverse. I'll see you next time in the Multiverse. Oh, one more thing I forgot to mention about the story. So there's a little, if we're going to put this as a little epilogue, um, the top agent, the top, uh, the, uh, top brass at, at uh, Wise, who didn't get infected, and, and the other agents are coming down from being vampires and being human again, they're reporting all this to the MI6 group. And it turns out the MI6 group was not the MI6 at all, it was the BPRD. And they were like, you know, if Dracula takes over your city, we're, we can call in our, our agent in America. And they go, no, it won't be necessary. We, he got, uh, like, our top agent took care of it. And he's like, alright, stand down, Big Red. So yeah, a little Hellboy crossover at the end. Anyway, uh, hope you all enjoyed this. I'm Mr. Multiverse. I'll see you next time in the Multiverse.